Need five pieces, that's right. Five pieces for just a few ingots. Alright. Thank you for coming down with me, Malroth. I'm sorry I had to pull you away from the party. Ah, good old beer for breakfast, my favorite. There's, there's no place for food, it's just beer. Uh, I always love it when Malroth comes in, comes in and joins you. No matter what you're doing. It's a neat little touch, he just wants to be with you. You ready, David? You ready? This hammer isn't good enough. Now we got a sledgehammer. Yay! Hammer level up. Smash even the sternest start of stuff. Bildo! What the heck is that? Looks kinda like your old hammer, but much more smashy. It really suits you. Yeah, great! But the real proof of the pudding is the smashing. Let's go and test that thing on, on some poor unsuspecting rocks. Watch your Bildo. Oh, you just got yourself a new sledgehammer now. See, it sounds like just the tool we've been looking for. Remember that rocky blockade Dougie said? Speaking of, where is Dougie? Has he just been down there for two whole days? Babs, thank you. The tunnels are cold and dark, not to mention dangerous. You and Maroth watch each other's backs now, okay? Again? Listen here, Bildo. I'll let you take a lunch, but I'll never let you take a lot. That belongs to me. <laughs> hey, Dougie, sorry for leaving you in here for days. Uh, I got this, uh, this room on a stick that Babs gave me. Mmm. That's food. David, look what we can do! Off to work we go. Yeah, fucking go to work, please. We'll get boobs as a reward. Yeah. Boobs. Is that not enough to entice you guys? Oh shit, I love this place. Hey. Look, David, an underground lake. It's pretty. Yeah. Oh, uh... Okay, give me a second. I have a bunch of this building. There's wet stuff all over the shop. I think that wet stuff is called water. Silly doggy. Us miners ain't exactly the strongest swimmers. If we got swept into that lake, it'd be curtains for the lot of us. Sorry, Builder, but we can't go no further. Alright. Alright, try plopping down a few blocks. Good thing we got this dark dolomite. Look at all these ferns, these plants. Nature! It's good to see greenery in, in a desert. How do they grow underground? Uh... Pfft. Magic. Hold on, what's actually up here? Is there anything? Anything? No, okay. I do know that there's uh, something over here. I'm trying to find it. It's it's another one of those uh unique unique little little things. But I think I might be up there actually. Oh, Bildo! You're supposed to fly. Spread your wings and fly. We can just swim up here. Swim up the waterfall because we... No, we can. We totally can. Yes, yeah, Spildo. Yes, yeah, Spildo. Here we go. The serpent fountain. Mine. I'm oh, sorry, a crested viper fountain. My mistake. I don't know if people will, uh... Have a gr like gratitude moments with these, with this, like they did with the stacky drackies. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think only a certain few will do. I don't know. How did Malroth get poisoned? Malroth, you, you good, buddy? Okay, he's good. He just walked off the poison. I've got a question. How did this big puddle get in here in the first place? It ain't no puddle, Malroth. It's an underground lake. Beautiful, ain't it? The more inside knows more mystery mysteries than we can possibly imagine. The old tales tell of mysterious temples, forgotten shrines, and hidden treasures so valuable, they're invaluable. These tunnels might be dark and deadly. If those stories are to be believed, they're a chock -a block for the ventures just waiting to happen. Malroth turned his head like, is this guy fucking for real? But though, why are we helping these guys? Oh, these things poison Malroth. They will poison you. Like so. They are ugly. 
Oh, I thought you like ugly things, <laughs> I mean, I do, but, I mean, this is just another one. That came off as rude sounding, but David confirmed it. He does, he does like ugly things. <laughs> no. Well, you like, you like ugly Pokemon. You like Sandaconda. Sandaconda. You like Armaldo. I can understand if Armaldo, Armaldo is ugly, but I still think it's cute. But I get if people think that's it. Yeah. Sandaconda's cute. Well, I guess, I guess the, the proper way of putting it is you like things that people would normally just point at and say ugly. Yeah. Like Geodude. Yeah. I think all of them. Like, what do you think of uh, Hazel in Animal Crossing? Oh, the unibrow squirrel. Yeah. Yeah, I like her. Oh shit. She's one of my villagers, and I think she's I think she's cute. I don't know why people hate her. I, I don't know why people hate her. People just have a hate boner for Animal Crossing characters for whatever reason. Yeah, if they're not like 100% cute, then they're just like, oh, I hate them. Yeah. People are apparently like, just like bullying them into, into like getting them to leave, which kind of makes me, it makes me sad. Same. It doesn't even work. It's been confirmed that it doesn't work. <laughs> You're just hitting them for no reason. Okay, let me just say this. I like Animal Crossing. I, th I think it's a fun enough game. But the fan base is as numerous as stated like, oh no, we're uwu cute. We're uwu wholesome. You are fucking not. Like, I've seen this shit you, you people have done, like... No. Like, have you- have, you don't know- you know what I'm talking about, David? Mm -hmm. It's like, they just claim to be, like, really wholesome, but... Like, during every- like, during the- the release window, like, people are just really... Unnecessar unnecessarily toxic for whatever reason. And I know, like, that's really ironic coming from a Pokemon fan, but, like... <laughs> have monsters but like people were like really desperate for news even though the game was coming up for like in a month exactly and I don't understand that like people were just like joking about going to kill themselves and like what the fuck is wrong with you it's like I'm gonna kill myself if I don't get any news on the game that's coming out in a month like what the fuck there's not much there's not much news like, you can get from Animal Crossing like yeah, exactly. Like, what you see is what you get. Like, it's just one of those games. Mm -hmm. I don't. Okay, now I was gonna teach us something. Look at the <laughs> the mole is tea posing. <laughs> the mole is tea posing. <laughs> okay, okay, but like, back to back to Animal Crossing being stupid. Um, oh, hold on. We learned a new co-op attack. Yeah, that was brilliant. Whenever we get really fired up in battle, let's unleash it on some unsuspecting monsters. Now, the question is, what should we call it? I love how we always have these conversations whenever, whenever we're in the middle of a battle. Beldo and Malras effortlessly grateful and decidedly deadly cooperative attack. Yeah, I like it. Next time we've built enough power, let's just... I was expecting him to make to make him make a comment about like, yeah, that's too long, but nah, he's one with it. What it's actually called is the call of the gra. Yay! All right, so sometimes we can just press L and A. Malroth will be really very fired up. We can do a super attack. So, back to Animal Crossing. Like, I really don't see them as this really wholesome fandom because. I've just seen them be really toxic because, uh, like on Twitter, whenever I see people on Twitter talking about like, oh, I want this, I want this villager to move, he's too ugly, and then they like, they completely hit, the, they just hit them with nets and just make shit up about, about, about them to Isabel, like, e e is this how you act to normal, to regular people? Like, the fuck is wrong with you? Anyway, this is my two cents about Animal Crossing fandom. I'll say this though, the only real wholesome Nintendo fandom out there is uh, Kirby. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it is. Mm. I don't think you'll kind of watch. 
Eh, you know, okay, watch, I guess. Although I haven't really been a part of the fandom at all because I don't know, have, have I mentioned have I mentioned this before? Since Pokemon X and Y, I've I've uh, gotten into into Wi-Fi, which isn't a bad thing. I I've really enjoyed Wi-Fi battling since then. You know, when whenever I actually got to do them, but ever since then, I feel like I feel like uh, something was lost a little bit because now I just really th think differently about about the game as a whole. Because I feel like, like before X and Y, I feel like I saw the Pokemon more as like these act actual animals, and now, thanks to competitive, I'd see more the more as numbers, which is kind of sucky. But I mean, it's not that bad. I've I've just like learned to deal with it. But and this isn't the case with the Yokai Watch. Like, whenever I play a Yokai Watch game, I feel like I've actually. I actually retain that sense of nostalgia with, with Pokemon. So I feel like if I get really involved with the fandom, I might just repeat what happened with X and Y. Mm. So I just don't want to. I just don't want to do that. I can't see it. Cause I want to retain my ignorance. Yeah. I I know Wi-Fi battles exist in Yokai Watch, and are EVs and IVs a thing? Uh, to an extent, like. Hmm, how do I describe it? I can't remember, but I do know, I'm, it's like, it's IVs. I think they're also called IVs or EVs, but it's kind of like soft resetting for a Pokemon, so it can have like perfect IVs. It's something like that, in a way. All right. Once I remember it, I can describe it. But I feel like with Yokai All Watch, right. since they're like, they're not like animals or anything, they're like ghosts and people. Well, not people, but you know. So since they actually have like personalities and stuff like that, it's hard to treat them as animals. So you just get yeah, yeah. That's why I don't really want to nickname yokai is because like they feel like more more of friend like like actual sentient beings instead of just pets. Yeah, it's something I think it does a lot better than Pokemon. Is that even though I think the the mystery dungeon esque way of of getting them is like tiring I I still do like it because because it just feels like you're net just naturally becoming friends with them it makes sense it'd be weird if, like you captured your friends or something <laughs> yeah that's why I'm a little like hesitant on naming them because like I mean you don't really just want to like replace your friend's name <laughs> yeah it'd be like if one day I decided to call, start calling David Joshua He's like, hey Joshua, like, Damo, you know my name's David, right? What, Joshua? <laughs> I'm sad that Yo Cow Watch never got, like, never really gained any traction in, in here. Yeah. Like, in this country. I love that. I'm sad that people just wrote it off as a Pokemon, cl as just nothing more than a Pokemon clone, because there are a lot of things I do think it does better than Pokemon. Same. Shit. It's I just wish people like actually gave it a chance. People just see little yeah. monsters and just assume it's like Pokemon. Yeah. I can't even think of one similar thing, really. Like, I guess there's technically type advantages, but what game doesn't have type advantages? Uh, a lot of RPGs just have... have elemental weaknesses. That's not a new concept that Pokemon... Yeah. I don't think it's a new concept Pokemon created. I doubt it. But it's just a lot... It's just a lot of it is focused in Pokemon, so... It just feels like that to most people. Other than I've also talked, I've also talked about this in an Animal Crossing stream, but I I do blame the media for like what how they handled Yokai Watch in the West. Cause like you remember, well you probably wouldn't remember this because you're young and but like in the '90s when platforming mascots were a really big thing, like everyone was trying to everyone was trying to replicate was what Mario and Sonic were doing but they all failed miserably because and I feel like part of that has to do with the fact that they were marketed as uh killers of of like Mario and Sonic mm -hmm. it's like you have shit like Croc who like one of the advertising campaigns was, in a, was like in a PlayStation magazine with like 
him eating Mario and Crash Bandicoot and Lara Croft, and it was like, <laughs> listen, the 90s advertising campaigns, <laughs> like, there was just a lot of stuff like that, like, I was like, oh, forget about this IP, this is the new Mario, this is the new Sonic, and like, I feel like whenever, whenever some, like, you describe something as like, like a killer of a beloved franchise. That one never you're so just, good. You're just dooming it to fail. It was like <laughs> you know what that you're doing. little alien Nintendo Switch thing. That's exactly what they did. Uh, yeah, yeah. But like I feel like you're just like asking for it to fail if if that's if you make if you do that. Cause like Hey, you're just basically telling to fans of the franchise, Hey, fuck what you like, try this instead. <laughs> I just feel like that's what it gets across and that just really negatively impacted yo Watch. Cause a lot of, a lot of news outlets just advertise it as a new Pokemon and people really didn't like that. I hate that. And they still don't like it. Whenever it was shown in like Nintendo Directs, you just got a lot of people who never played it go, I hate Yokai Watch! I fucking hate it! Just play Pokemon! But like, just Make calm down. It's not that serious, dude. Yeah. Yokai Watch is like probably my favorite game series. I just wish more people gave it a chance. I yeah, it's one of my favorites too. Honestly, like, if Pokemon. I honestly kind of wish it was just more popular with Pokemon, because, again, there are a lot of things it just does better. Mm -hmm. Instead of, instead of, uh, taking things out to quote-unquote make a each game feel unique in its own way, it just, it keeps things and just, it keeps expanding upon them, because that's what sequels are supposed to do. Yeah. No Cloud Watch does that a lot. With Pokemon, it feels kind of forced, but with Yokai, it just, I guess as the games age, it just feels natural as it changes. Yeah. Eh. Here we go again. Can't es not, we can't escape the fact that we can just rag on Pokemon in a series that has nothing to do with Pokemon. This is how we are on this channel. <laughs> Sorry, Bildo. I, I have to say this, though. As much as I love Komasan. Uh, Jibanyan, as much as I love them, they can never replace Gardevoir. They can never do that. Hey, we fixed up the tunnels. I love my favorite Pokemon, but I feel like I'd have to take my favorite Yokai over my favorite Pokemon all the time. Yeah. I really. You would rather have a pup have a pupsicle? <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're f we're flexing. Flex the time. We got to do this. Hmm. Work it. Bildo, you're out of sync. <laughs> this is why he couldn't join. Yep. His flux of time was a little weak compared to Malra, so he has to he has to go a little earlier to compensate. I know a lot about compensating for length, you know. Oh. Future demo, cut that out. Future demo, keep it in. Future demo, uh, add lots of visuals. Don't do that. Don't actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> 